In 2007, in question 6, the graph of the function g of x equals e to the x, shown in the diagram below, on the same graph, draw the graph of h of x, which equals e to the minus x, in the domain 0 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 1. So we need to uh, find a number of points. So we, we've got 0, uh, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. So with these x values, we want to find corresponding y values. And here are the function y equals e to the minus x. So e to the 0 is 1, e to the minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.82, e to the minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.67, e to the minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.55, e to the minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.45, and e to the minus 1 is 0 0.327. So when x is 0, y is 1, that's the first coordinate. When x is 2, y goes up to 0 0.82. When x is 0 0.4, y goes up to 0 0.67. So 0 0.4, that's 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. And here we've got 0 0.67. Uh, next of all, 0 0.6 goes up to 0 0.55. 0 0.6 goes up to 0 0.55. 0 0.8 goes up to 0 0.45. 0 0.2, 0 0.45. And finally, goes 1 goes up to 0 0.37. So if we join the dots, this just gives us the curve h of x equals e to the minus x. Copy then, we want to find the area enclosed by g of x, which equals e to the x, h of x, which equals e to the minus x, and the line x equals 0 0.5. Give your answer correct to four decimal places. So we've just drawn in the graph um, h of x, which equals e to the minus x. Now, the line x equals 0 0.75, we have to draw a line going vertically up from here. So that's the line x equals 0 0.75. What we're looking for is this area here. That's the area bounded between the function g of x, h of x, and the line x equals 0 0.75. Now, g of x, that's the function which is on top, and h of x is the function on the bottom. So this area is going to be the integral from 0 the 0 0.75 of g of x minus h of x. Okay, so the limits go from 0 up to 0 0.75. So we put g of x first of all because uh, g of x is on top. And then we just subtract h of x. If you do the other way around, it would give a negative area. Now g of x then is e to the x, and we have to subtract then e to the minus x. Now if you integrate e to the x, that just gives e to the x. If you integrate minus e to the minus x, this would give a minus e to the minus x over minus 1, and the minuses would cancel. So this would give e to the x plus e to the minus x. And the limits go from 0 up to 0 0.75. If you put in 0 0.75, first of all, you're going to get e to the 0 0.75 plus e to the minus 0 0.75 minus, and then we put in 0, you get e to the 0 plus e to the 0. If you put all of that into your calculator, this gives an area of 0 0.5894.